How's it going, guys? Happy Wednesday. I hope you're having just a great week. In our student ministry, guys, we are having a stressful week because it is the week before our mission trip. And we actually leave this coming Sunday morning from New Orleans. I'm so stinking excited that we actually get to have a mission trip this year, right? Our students, last year, we were all excited about a new place and a new trip, and we got bummed when we had to cancel everything because of uh, the pandemic and the lockdown. But we are going to be taking 42 students and leaders to Louisiana to serve with the New Life Community Church which is actually in Covington, Louisiana, which is like an hour north of New Orleans. We have some full days ahead of us as we will run a day camp at the church for 75 to 80 kids or so from the community. Um, and those ages are going to be from 5 to 12. So it's a wide range of kids. It's a bunch of kids. We're going to be facilitating games. We're going to be teaching some worship music. We're going to be making some really cool crafts. And then also we're going to be sharing the gospel from the beginning to the end of the week as well. So I'm just really excited about the opportunity that our kids have. I wanted to ask all of you guys to pray for us as we're going to be up from pretty much 6 30 a.m until 11 p.m each day and that's after a 12 hour plus bus ride to new orleans on sunday probably in the rain with the forecast that we're looking at um, i love mission trips guys and i love seeing students serve other people the first day is always a little kind of awkward as the kids are still having some walls up and trying to figure out how to interact with the kids and new kids and new faces in a new place. But by the end of the week, man, our students have bonded with those kids and they're so sad to leave them. I remember last year when we, the last year we could go, we were at the Boys and Girls Club and we had tears and notes to families and that kind of stuff. You guys would be so proud of your students if you could just be a fly on the wall on one of these mission trips. And one of the talks that we always have early on on our mission trips is the patience talk, right? When you are around the same people for so much time while so much is being asked of you, it's a given that your patience is going to run thin. And what was funny, the first part of the week is, is about to really make you snap by the end of the week, the fourth day possibly even. As leaders, you know, we try to keep an eye on any friction points that are coming up between students and try to try to resolve that as best we can. And we continually reiterate grace over and over with our students, making sure they remember that. The environment of a mission trip gives you a unique experiment on dealing with other people. But the need for patience and need for grace extends to all areas of our lives as well. It seems like, and this is just an observation, it seems like the pandemic since the pandemic hit, people are struggling to get along with other people, right? I've seen so many videos and news reports about fights in the stands at baseball games and basketball games. And that seems like a new thing. I don't remember that being the case before all this stuff happened. Um, it might have just not got the press it did now, but whatever. I've also seen people online and people in person lack grace when they talk to other people. It's like in the months that we were locked away inside of our homes, our ability to communicate effectively with other people just kind of shriveled up and died. So guys, I want to challenge you just like I'm going to challenge our students when we get to New Orleans. Over the next week, extend grace far beyond what you think they deserve. It's kind of what grace is, right? <laughs> like be ridiculous with the amount of grace that you're going to offer other people. Watch your words and think through the way that they can be received long before they get to the point where they come out of your mouth. That's important. Those challenges, they may sound pretty basic and like stuff you probably covered back in elementary school, right? But I really feel like our world today, it needs a refresher course from like the third grade. So that's why I give you that challenge. Let me give you guys some verses. Proverbs 15, 4 says, Gentle words are a tree of life. A deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Colossians 4, 6 says this, Let your conversation be gracious and attractive so that you will have the right response for everyone. And here's another one, man. This one I really hold on to when we're in close groups for a long period of time and our patience is being tried. Um, Ephesians 4.32, and this is what it says. It says, instead, be kind to each other, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, just as God, through Christ, has forgiven you. Guys, you don't have to be on a mission trip to find friction with other people. Right? We can all agree on that. You just have to go to work or possibly even just go home and there's going to be friction. But as believers, we have a call to make the world a better place because of our presence in it. 
And as I encourage you guys and as I encourage our students to be patient, kind, and gracious with each other over the week that we're about to have, I'm going to pray that you guys are doing the same thing here back in Savannah. Please keep our team in your prayers as we travel. Um, We're going to be traveling to New Orleans, which is a long trip in itself. And then we have about an hour of travel to and from our job site each day. And then we have some really long days serving the kids of coming to Louisiana ahead of us. Guys, I can't wait to see what God is going to do. Man, it's always just such an amazing thing to see what he does. And then when we get back, please ask our kids about their experiences, man. It's such a joy to hear what each of them learned and what each of them took away from the week. And then just to see how God stretched each of them individually to be a more mature believer. Guys, have a great rest of your week and we will see you real soon.